Yo, welcome back to the channel. Episode 5 of Smackdown Live is underway. Oh, wait a minute. What an announcement, what a way to kick off Smackdown Live. Shawn Michaels confirms that he accepts AJ Styles' challenge for the WWE Championship at the Royal Rumble. HBK coming out of retirement to defend his honor. And speaking of honor, one must question what Becky Lynch will do when she gets her hands on Nikki Bella in this tag team match. On the way shortly, Becky Lynch, the number one contender winning that over the top battle royal. Last week on SmackDown, she won the right to face Nikki Bella at the Royal Rumble. I wish the women's champion proceeded come to come down to the ring, offer a handshake, but it was all a ruse. Blindsiding the Irish woman and dropping her on the spine with a rack attack. And as you see here, Mrs. John Cena making her way to the ring shameless, displaying absolutely no shame at all for her deeds. But she's in action tonight, sends Becky Lynch off the ropes and cuts her off with that forearm that we all know she likes to throw. Dragon screw by Becky Lynch. She is a limb assassin. Rumors are swirling around on the Twitter that general manager Daniel Bryan has an earth shattering reveal at the Royal Rumble in relation to the women's division. Up on the shoulders now, Nikki Bella slamming her back to earth with that Alabama slam. Tags in the Staten Island Princess Carmella. Sets her up in the top, precarious position. Booted away by Becky Lynch. And nails her with a missile drop kick off the top. Naomi now. To the top again and down on top of Carmella. Has clearly learned a thing or two from her husband Jimmy Uso. One half of our tag team champions on SmackDown. Nikki Bella trapped the arm, throws her back to the ground. Becky Lynch was the first SmackDown Live Women's Champion. Nikki Bella, the longest reigning Divas Champion, surpassing AJ Lee's record. Both women certainly have the credentials to make their match a classic at the Royal Rumble pay per view. Now Naomi and Becky Lynch teaming up. Shades of the Hardy Boys windmill slam. Naomi bashing the brains of Naomi against the canvas. Becky Lynch defeating five other women in the over the top battle world to become the number one contender for Nikki Bella's championship. Fancy pin. And there's the free count. Carmella too slow to react as she was cut off by Naomi. Becky Lynch not only the number one contender for the women's championship, but she also has just pinned the women's champion Nikki Bella. The trivia is accruing in the lead up to the Royal Rumble. Championship match, Nikki Bella now with Becky in the sights and the challenge of Ducks fires three shots and sends her packing Karma for the women's champion last week blindsiding the challenger and this week Becky Lynch is just one step ahead of the wife of this man John Cena's open challenge continues this week a successful defense against Apollo Crews last week who steps up this week and tonight's main event before he defends the WWE Championship at the Royal Rumble against HBK Shawn Michaels is AJ Styles taking on Bray Wyatt. Well, we are back here on SmackDown Live for one on one action. It's the Miz, the SmackDown Live A lister with his wife, Maurice. It's the Miz's first appearance here on this Universe Mode series here on the channel. A former WWE Champion at one point, successfully catching in that Money in the Bank briefcase on this man, Randy Orton. An uncharacteristic defeat last week on SmackDown to Dean Ambrose, and the Viper visibly upset, succumbing to the deadly small package. The Legend Killer will be seeking redemption with a win over The Miz and be keen to re-establish some momentum heading into the Royal Rumble match in San Antonio, Texas this Sunday. Here is The Miz now enjoying a considerable amount of offense. Wherever the Viper, Randy Orton, Maurice looking on at ringside as her husband goes to work. On the veteran, Randy Orton catches him and slaps him across the face. Drops him with a European uppercut. 
and a knee across the forehead, the frontal lobe of the miss. Shades of Steve Austin with the Lufez press, Randy Orton appearing to find his feet. And Maurice distracting the Viper just enough for the miss to snatch a roll up. Is that going to be enough for the second week in a row? But Randy kicks out. And a clubbing European uppercut to the neck of the Miz. As a former WWE, former US, former Intercontinental, former Tag Team Champion, the Miz clambers up the ropes. Evades Randy on that one and drops him with a back suplex. Bit of a scuffle there, but out of nowhere is the AKO. Just like that, puts his opponent to sleep, covers him for that one, the two, and Miz kicks out. How many people do you see? Kick out of the RKO. Miz up the top with a double axe handle. Goes for the cover. Two. Randy kicks out. This match continues here on SmackDown Live and trademark Miz with a flying clothesline in the corner. Like a shark sent in blood in the water. Locks him up in the full Nelson. Drops him on the face with a Scott crushing finale. Rolls him over. Makes the cover. Two. Oh, it doesn't kick out, second defeat in a row for the veteran, the Viper Randy Orton and the Miz is victorious here on Smackdown both men entering the Royal Rumble and again the frustration boiling over for Randy Orton and it's not a knock on the Miz or Dean Ambrose both fantastic competitors in their own right but you expect more of the legend killer And we are back. And it's odd that Styles has no comment to make, despite the fact he was the one who interrupted Shawn Michaels last week on SmackDown. And Commissioner Shane McMahon with nothing but praise for the general manager Daniel Bryan as we go underway early for one on one action. American Alphas Jason Jordan taking on Jay Uso at the SmackDown Live Tag Championship goes flying up in the sky and into the crowd. Jordan dropping the Uso with the drop kick, sent him into the ring. As the champions tried to ambush American Alpha before this match. It's a one-on-one -on -one match put together by Daniel Bryan coming off the heels of American Alpha defeating the champions, the Usos last week on SmackDown. They're number one contenders. And the match will take place at the Royal Rumble for the Tag Team Championships. Beautiful flapjack by Jason Jordan sending Jay Uso up into the sky. And here is Jey Uso over the top rope, dropping Jason Jordan's throat across that middle rope. And the Hip Hop Brothers conversing. Jimmy Uso giving him some coaching, some pointers on the outside. And here we go, Shades of Eki. Umaga with the hip attack to the skull in that bottom corner. Such a dangerous move. Jason Jordan lands the signature. Nailing Jey Uso with a spear. An angle slam. What an athlete, Jason Jordan. With the power on display, goes for the cover. One. Jay managing to kick out on the one count. American Alpha, former NXT Tag Team Champions. Yet to win the gold on the main roster, and there's another forearm to the head. And Jason Jordan as Jey Uso squashes him with the Uso splash. Gets the victory. And they restore some bragging rights before the pay-per-view on Sunday. And rubbing salt in the wound with the post-match attack. Come on, ref, get in there. Referee has put it out. Nowhere to be seen. And Jay taking out the trash. Sending Jason Jordan to the outside. As the tag team champions have their glory. Tune into the Royal Rumble this Sunday to find out how this match climaxes. Coming up next 
is the Intercontinental Championship Open Challenge, hosted by John Cena next. And we are back as the unmistakable, iconic opening chords of one of the most polarizing men in the WWE or the history of is John Cena. The Intercontinental Champion and the pissing match between Roman Reigns and himself continues into his second week. Days away before both the United States Champion Roman Reigns and the Intercontinental Champion John Cena enter the Royal Rumble match, a star-studded affair. It will be Apollo Crews accepted the challenge last week, came up short despite a promising start. And who will throw their name in the hat this week? The former champion himself, Dolph Ziggler, John Cena defeated him in a brutal ladder match at the TLC pay-per-view in December. The self-proclaimed show-off has yet to claim his rematch, perhaps this will be it. Fighting talk from Dolph Ziggler throws his name into the hat and will be keen to dethrone the champion five days away from the Royal Rumble. The prestigious gold and white intercontinental championship reintroduced by Cody Rhodes in 2011. Great sportsmanship on display with a pre-match handshake. We are on the way as Dolph Ziggler sets Cena up top. And the Intercontinental Champion drops him with a crossbody. Remembered for his superhuman strength, but he can be athletic when he wants to be. He can be agile when he needs to be. John Cena going airborne, but is cut out this time. But Adolf Ziggler drops him with a drop kick on the outside. And this is when the show off comes into his element. A fancy kip up can be cool, cocky, and bad. As a former Intercontinental Champion, the Honky Tonk Man would say, but Ziggler drops him with a zigzag. This could be over very early on. Cena can he kick out and he just, just escapes no man's land. John Cena has held about every championship he can in the WWE. Now that he has the Intercontinental Championship in his possession, claimed he wanted to add prestige to the title like he did with the US Championship two years ago. And that was a one level single arm suplex. Shoot Stoll Ziggler up into the ropes. Up in the air with the unorthodox hip toss. Ziggler trying to catch him off guard with a schoolboy, the rolling cradle. Cena just about clutches the ropes and breaks the pin. Ziggler on the ropes, drops an elbow across the nose of John Cena, that surgically repaired nose that Seth Rollins broke on Monday Night Raw last year. Now both men trading shots, Ziggler with a knee to the face. Drops him on the head with a DDT. And the fame master, the hashtag heel smelling blood in the water, tuning up the band like the HBK wannabe that he is. See the ducks up on the shoulders in the fireman's cabin, drops him with the AA. Referee going to check the shoulders, counts one, two. Sigler kicks out. How did Dolph Sigler kick out the AA? And Cena ducks the super kick drama here on SmackDown Live. Locks him in the STF. Formerly known as the STFU. Ziggler taps, he submits. And John Cena retains and he remains your Intercontinental Champion. What a matchup. One of the highlights of the night are these championship challenges. Whether it's Monday Night Raw or SmackDown Live. John Cena determined to do just a little bit better retains that championship and defeats Dolph Ziggler twice in a row both men now face off Cena extends the hand and Ziggler slaps it away obviously doesn't feel like extending any sportsmanship to your champion John Cena 
What a night it's been so far, but let's look to the Royal Rumble pay-per-view this Sunday. Becky Lynch challenging the women's champion, Nikki Bella. As we run through what SmackDown Live has to offer at the joint pay-per-view this Sunday. Tag team action as the tag championships are on the line. American Alpha with a victory over the Usos. Beaten to a pulp early one in the show. Can American Alpha get redemption by winning those blue belts? On the Raw side, the returning page will face off against the new women's champion, Bailey. And this should be a classic two hot heads go head to head. Brock Lesnar taking on Chris Jericho, who was abandoned on Monday Night Raw by this man, his best friend Kevin Owens, as he defends the Universal Championship against Seth Rollins for the final time in San Antonio, the home of the legend, as he comes out of retirement to challenge AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. That's all the makings to be match of the night. But how about the match of tonight? Bray Wyatt takes on AJ Styles for the first time ever, and it is next. Welcome back to the final segment of the episode. The Fireflies are on display for the coolest entrance in the WWE. Bray Wyatt making that smooth, sauntery stroll to the ring to face the WWE Champion. AJ Styles, both men facing each other for the first time in their careers. And there goes the lamp. Luke Harper accompanying him to the ring. Keep your eye out on the former Brody Lee. And here is the man who will challenge Shawn Michaels at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view this Sunday. Came out last week, disrespected the legend, even going as far as calling him a phony Christian. He then blindsided him with a Pele kick, dropped him with a phenomenal forearm. And last week, SmackDown Live goes off the air with a ball between the two on the ramp. It's Bray Wyatt dropping Styles with the Spine Buster. I like that one. Shades off the Rook of the APA. As your SmackDown Live main event gets underway. Clubbing blows the spine by the face of Fear Bray Wyatt. What a match it will turn out to be on Sunday at the Royal Rumble. Shawn Michaels being sentenced to retirement by The Undertaker. The same man that Bray Wyatt challenged two years ago at Wrestlemania in Santa Clara, California. Shawn Michaels has vowed to stay retired, probably because he's so pissed off at Ric Flair breaking his stipulation when HBK retired him. He took the cockiness and the vulgarity of AJ Styles to make Shawn Michaels go back on that statement and accept his challenge earlier tonight on SmackDown. Pump handle dropped by Wyatt. The Styles traps the arm and drops him in a net break of shades of CM Punk. And when you talk about dream matches, that's one that I'd love to see one day. Who knows anything is possible here in this universe mode on the channel. Here's Bray Wyatt now dropping Styles, hits the ropes. Only one thing, 300 pounds of man crashing down on your ribcage. And here's that weird, weird crab walk. A Bray Wyatt, the beard that defies gravity, face of fear, strikes the phenomenal one with the sister Abigail, scurries across the map for a cover on the WWE Champion, Styles kicks out a two, who knows what would have happened if he defeated the WWE Champion, would certainly be in line for a number one contendership shot down the line but whether it will be against AJ Styles or Shawn Michaels is yet to be seen and there's the overcastle net breaker coming off the top rope from AJ Styles it's usually a phenomenal forearm from that position but it was a change of the pace as he sends the eater of worlds outside of the world into the space below and there's a phenomenal forearm from the inside to the out Forearm strikes by AJ Styles as Bray Wyatt leans on the rope, sends off, space will slide through the legs. And a flash Hurricane Rana from the high-flying WWE Champion. Shawn Michaels is in the building, got to be watching on from the monitor sideways. Where's the Kenta series? The sequence style certainly picked up in his time in New Japan. Tornado DDT into the ring this time. There's a drop down, leapfrog. Finished off by the drop kick, the punctuation mark. 
Vintage AJ Styles. Bray Wyatt mounting a comeback. Punch to the face, kick to the gut. Tucks the arm between the legs. Drops him with a pump handle drop. The Styles takes a powder, drops his throat across the road with that guillotine. Up on the springboard, phenomenal forearm to the neck. And look who's here, look who hits the ring. Mr. WrestleMania, HBK, the legend, the Hall of Famer. AJ Styles picking up the win via disqualification. It means nothing at this point as Shawn Michaels tunes up the band. And we are treated to vintage HBK. Drops AJ Styles with the sweet chin music. And in five days time, we have a match for the ages. Shawn Michaels versus AJ Styles for the WWE Championship in his hometown of San Antonio, Texas. Thank you very much for watching as always in a bit. Once again, people, thank you for watching as always. And don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me on the Twitter site. And while you're waiting for me to churn out new episodes, why not check out previous ones on my channel? And with the Royal Rumble coming up next Sunday, why not let me know in the comments below which surprise entrance, if any, you would like to see?